Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update for July 19th. I'm Samantha Bartram. Loudoun's offerings for the business community are being pitched across the globe this week. County Chairman Scott York and Business Development Manager Buddy Reiser arrived in England today where they will take part in two days of the Farnborough Air Show outside La- London. Included in their schedule is the Virginia reception tonight hosted by Governor Bob McDonnell, and two days jammed full of meetings with businesses who have expressed interest in opening operations in the U.S. After the trade show, the two will fly to Finland Wednesday, where they will have another schedule of back-to-back meetings focused on opportunities that exist in Loudoun for Finnish businesses. The trip is the culmination of months of work in the county's business cluster strategy and through the efforts of Riser, Stephen Hargan, and the county's international consultant. The goal is to network with companies in government contracting and information and communication technologies and sell them on what Loudoun has to offer. The air show, York said before he left, is a perfect opportunity for the county to sell one of its greatest assets, Dulles Airport, and the potential development of the Route 28 corridor. In public safety news, a 22-year-old Ashburn man is being held without bond after he allegedly committed sexual battery against someone under the age of 15. Thursday, deputies were called to the Ashburn Village Sports Pavilion, where a 13-year-old female reported that she and some other girls had befriended a man they believed to be 17 years old. During the course of the day, the man, later identified as Charles Moxley, allegedly inappropriately touched the 13-year-old victim. Moxley was later located by the Loudoun County Sheriff's Office and arrested. Also, county deputies say they've caught a Winchester man who allegedly broke into at least three Western Loudoun homes. 24-year-old Keith Farrell is being held without bond. He's believed to be responsible for daytime break-ins at homes on Purcellville Road, Axe Line Road, and Route 9 during June and July. Deputies also are looking at four similar burglaries in western Loudoun. Investigators want to talk with residents who've had contact with Farrell in recent months or who have seen his truck, a gray Chevy pickup with a cap over the back. If you have, call the Sheriff's Office at 703-777-0475. Hundreds of Leesburg and Loudoun residents braved the heat Saturday afternoon to join in celebrations at the village at Leesburg Town Center, which celebrated its official grand opening with music, children's entertainment, and more. Leesburg District Supervisor Kelly Burke and Mayor Kristen Umstadt were on hand to present certificates of recognition from the town and county to John Feintner, Vice President of Development for Cypress Equities, and Kettler Construction Company owner Bob Kettler. For more information on the Village of Leesburg, visit the Town Center's website at villageatleesburg.com. Also in Leesburg news, one of the town's most senior residents held a special celebration with her family Saturday at Inova's long-term care center in Leesburg. Delma Holmes gathered with several of her grandchildren Saturday to celebrate her 104th birthday. In total, Delma has five grandchildren, seven great-grandchildren, and five great-great-grandchildren. Originally from Philadelphia, Delma moved to Loudoun five years ago to be closer to family. She worked at the Pennsylvania Hospital for many years before retiring in 1976. Finally, two Loudoun women were recognized as the top prize winners in the recently held Out of the Ordinary Creative Challenge exhibition sponsored by Friends of Franklin Park Arts Center and Web Fabrics of Purcellville. Anne Green and Penny Hoff rose to the challenge by creating unique works of art using all or part of an 18 by 22 inch rectangle of fabric known as a fat quarter donated by Web Fabrics. Green's bamboo took the top prize for most innovative use of fabric, while Hoff's knotted fabraf won best in show. The women were awarded a complete set of fat quarters in 360 colors from the Hoffman Bali Batiks collection, courtesy of Web Fabrics, and a cash prize sponsored by the Arts Center, respectively. You can see all the Out of the Ordinary entries on display at Franklin Park Arts Center now through July 31st. Admission is free and open to the public. For further information, call 540-338-7973 or visit franklinparkartscenter.org. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.